Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm back with the second part of my soapbox. Like I had said in the prior, in the video prior, that uh, soapbox over Chick Fil A, ver uh, gay marriage stance. I believe that's what I had it as. I don't remember. But like I said in that one, there w there has been this firestorm regarding. Chick-fil-A over the current president, Dan Cathy's uh, comments regarding their the business stance on the issue of gay marriage. Now, founded, Chick-fil-A was founded as a Christian business with the stance against gay marriage and against things that, of course, not biblical. Now, Dan Cathy had, had made some comments, and it's been a political firestorm since. Um, the University of Louisville, uh, has been uh, has uh, been stated uh, from the office of LGBT services said the president and provost president Jim Ramsey and provost Shirley Willingham Willingham will not be eating at Chick-fil-A anytime soon statement said university has been supportive of the LGBT community and they were in talks with the food vendor service to get information about the contract with Chick-fil-A. Now, I am actually going to venture to the Chick-fil-A website now to see, but while that's loading, I want to share that M Michael Bloomberg, the guy who's been having uh, a political firestorm himself over sugary beverages six, over 16 ounces has uh, come out saying that he said Friday despite of his support of same-sex marriage he disagrees with some of his fellow mayors across the country including Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel San Fran Mayor Edwin Lee and Boston Mayor Tom Menino who have said that the fast food chain Chick-fil-A is not welcome in their cities because of its opposition to gay marriage. Bloomberg said on his weekly radio show on WWOR that it is inappropriate for a government entity to lo look at somebody's political views and decide whether or not they can live in the city or operate a business in the city or work for somebody in the city. Now, I had see, uh, saw, uh, yeah, I have seen a video regarding uh, from CBS this morning report regarding Chick Fil A, and they had stated that there was this one, uh, the franchise owner in Chicago has hired had gay people and has. Um, and has had gay people eat in the restaurant. So it's not like it's uncommon, but there are people who are still opposed. The billionaire businessman turned politician was asked about comments, uh, referring back to Bloomberg, regarding the comments from Menino, Emmanuel, and Lee, which criticized Chick fil A for the stance, which uh, pre Chick fil A president Dan Cathy angered gay rights activists, including the mayors, when he said the company was guilty as charged for backing the biblical definition of a family. He later added, I think we're inviting God's judgment on our nation when we shake our fists at him and say, We know better than you as to what's con what constitutes a marriage. Emmanuel said, Chick-fil-A values are not Chicago values. 
and Menino wrote in a letter to Pres uh, Mr. Cathy, there is no place for discrimination on Boston's Freedom Trail and no place for your company alongside it. Lee tweeted Thursday, closest hashtag Chick-fil-A to San Fran is 40 miles away and I strongly recommend that they not try to come any closer. Bloomberg said Menino, Emmanuel, and Lee are really, are really are good mayors, but trampling on the freedom to marry whoever you want is exactly the same as trampling on your own your freedom to open the store. Richard Sakaridis, a New York lawyer and former Clinton White House advisor on gay rights, who is urging the boycott of Chick Fil A said Bloomberg is right. Consumers can disagree with companies' corporate political position and decide not to spend money there. But the city cannot regulate speech by denying someone a permit to operate their business just because you disagree with their beliefs. Equal opportunity employer... You hear equal opportunity employers, and you need to have the same thing in cities. Benino has more recently said he was expressing his own opinion and acknowledged there is little he can do to prevent the chain from coming to Boston. A spokeswoman for Emmanuel said that while the Chicago mayor believes that Kathy does not share his city's values, he would not block Chick-fil-A from opening a new restaurant. Most of the Atlanta-based restaurants are in the Bible Belt. There are none in San Fran or Boston, and there is one in Chicago and one in New York City. Bloomberg said if the chain wanted to open a second New York eatery, it would have to apply for a necessary permit. He added that he has never eaten at Chick-fil-A himself, even though uh, former Governor Tim Pawlenty has, along with Sarah Palin and a few others, uh, conservatives, uh, go uh, governors, former governors, I should say. And all four of the mayors are strong supporters of gay marriage. Bloomberg officiated at the wedding of two male aides uh, when New York legalized same-sex marriage last year. So, we are going to try to find some device. Yesterday, the Vice President of uh, Public Relations, Dan Perry, Don Perry, rather, passed away suddenly. So that is the latest. So... There has been very a lot of there has been a lot of uh, backlashes regarding the uh, stance that Chick Fil A has done. But there have been other restaurants who've had the same thing. Uh, let's see. In-N-Out Burger, which commands a loyalty on the Pacific Coast that rivals the intensity of the Southern affair with Chick-fil-A, once plastered its cups and wrappers with Bible verses, sending customers to the internet to find out what agenda the company was hinting at. In 2002, a chain email sensationalized the Islamic ties of Caribou Coffee, a Minnesota business chain then owned primarily by the Bahrain-based First Islamic Investment Bank. The bank had a advisory board headed by a Muslim cleric associated with other organizations believed to be anti-Israel. The emails led to unofficial Jewish boycotts of Caribou. In 1989, the 
NOW, National Organization for Women, announced the boycott of Domino's Pizza, whose Catholic founder, Tom Monahan, had begun found funding anti-abortion crusades and allegedly aiding right-wing groups that opposed the Sandinistas in Nicaragua. Undeterred, Monahan, or Monahan, rather, had continued to pour millions into the anti-abortion movement and is currently building a fundamentalist Catholic village near Naples, where birth control and porno- Naples, Florida, where birth control and pornography are reported to be banned. There are few things mo- more American than commercial hucksterism, which in its triumph often gives birth to cult-like management philosophies that unite God and mammon. As Truett Cathy, the Southern Baptist founder of Chick-fil-A, walked in the long footsteps of businessmen who deployed idiosyncratic beliefs in the service of material success. This is the country where almost any religious flavor can be marketed successfully to millions, and there's always millions more who will refuse to buy it. And granted, there will be a lot of people who will refuse to do this, and <clears throat> plenty... Tim Pawlenty, the former Minnesota governor and former uh, GOP presidential candidate, said that officials' public objections to the Christian-owned fast food chain are chilling. Now you have the police power of government intimidating and threatening people, being used to intimidate and threaten people based on their free speech rights and their religious views. Pawlenty said Saturday of city officials' objections to President Dan Cathy's public disavowal of gay marriage. I mean, it's chilling. I mean, it's stunning. It's jaw-dropping. And so I think strong people who see this need to stand up and say, no, we don't do that in the U.S. And we've already... Palenti noted... said that he had sampled Chick-fil-A's products for lunch on Saturday earlier Saturday, and it was awesome of the uh, chicken strips and waffle fries he ordered. His comments came in response to a question from roundtable participant Christine Godot of Kerry. I was just really wishing that someone in the Republican Party would have stepped forward, she said of the intimidation she felt from pro-gay marriage advocates over the issue. There just seems to be this real lack of leadership, and I'm just hopeful and praying that if Governor Romney does win the election, that we'll be allowed to have civil debate and disagree with each other without feeling threatened or penalized. Despite the Summer Olympics, recreational hockey player Palenti had winter sports on the brain. He took time out after the sports parents roundtable at the Polar Ice House skating venue to skate a few laps around the rink. Of course, he's not the only politician supporting Chick-fil-A. As I mentioned, Governor, former governor of Alaska, Sarah Palin, on Friday posted a fa- uh, two pictures of a visit on Facebook in the, uh, at the Woodland store in Texas, where she supported insurgent conservative U.S. Senate candidate Ted Cruz. She posted comments, Stop by Chick-fil-A in the Woodlands to support a great business. Now, there are so many issues going on, like I have said, and there's always this concern that people go too far. I think some people are going too far on this. Eat, you can eat chicken without feeling that you're pressured into a situation. Now, granted, you may, there may have been words or information regarding the situation regard uh, regarding the charitable uh, dealings and whatnot. But you have to realize that a corporate stance does not really 
show a found the found yeah the franchise a franchise point of view even though the franchise has to abide by such corporate has to abide by the corporate values but also it Chick-fil-A is also an equal opportunity employer and of course you can't being equal opportunity you can't go be judgmental or discriminate of the people that you hire which that is not the case with Dan Cafe. He's not saying, "Oh, I'm complete. I'm not doing. I'm not against this. I, I'm not against people who are in my company. I I still love these. I still love these people. I mean, he wasn't able to say this stuff. Love, I love this sinner as in I care about these people who are homosexual. However, I do not like the choice that they have made to be homosexual. He can't really say that because that like people would frown against the, those type of statements be, or would be confused because they don't understand the biblical principle that he is trying to convey which that's what gets me when people like Jackson Pierce the Young Turks and some of these other opinionators I'm not talking about these news sources these other main news sources these newspapers like Huffington Huffington Post, L.A. Times, uh, Daily Beast, which I had read, NBC. I'm not referring to any of those. I'm referring to these supposed, this, the Young Turks, which supposedly are a YouTube, well, they're on current TV, uh, which is a cable network, a cable network. Trust me, I go to the big sources first <laughs> and get my sources that way. But <clears throat> the Young Turks, they are opinion leaders. YouTube shows you're able to see a lot and a lot of opinion. And the Young Turks are just one of those big opinionators. Antoine, Antoine Dodson, another opinionated person. Philip DeFranco, he probably posted something about this when it first came out. I haven't had a chance. But when people choose to bash a company for a stance that doesn't affect a direct connection, like the suppose like I'm gonna look at this one that supposedly was mentioned on the Turks regarding Exodus and it was called Exodus, Exodus International. And it's a non profit interdenominational ex gay Christian organization. And there, and I'll probably be taking a look at this more in depth because I'm not sure how many minutes I actually am allowed on here on YouTube for a single episode because I'm not. It doesn't show me any limits, so I'm gonna keep on and. I'm going to take a look here at some of the controversy that is supposed It doesn't show anything with Exodus. Let me pull up. Let 
Now I could tell you. Okay, here we go. Here's. I am going to take a look at this uh, portion of an article regarding the LGBT, and I'll be back with more. So stay tuned for part three on my soapbox about this whole Chick-fil-A issue.